Hi, welcome to Algebra and Words, the YouTube channel. My name's Greg. I'm the creator and author of Algebra and Words, and I want to introduce my channel. I want to tell you a little bit about myself, give you a little background. I want to tell you what you can expect from the channel, as well as how you can use the channel to get maximum results. So a little bit about me. My name's Greg. In 2009, I graduated from graduate school with my degree, my PhD in chemistry from Seton Hall University. And after that, I started teaching college classes. At one of the colleges, one of the chairpersons asked me if I could do a math class. So I started to teach algebra classes. And after teaching the classes a few year, a few classes, I realized that there were two types of students. The math students, the ones that understood the material pretty quickly, I was one of those, or students that had more trouble. So I started to develop little techniques to try to get through to the students that had more trouble. And I developed some techniques and methods that basically helped students see uh, a little more extra detail into the material that they needed and also material that often intimidated them. I call this method algebra and words because it took just the normal steps of algebra but laid them out step by step with an extra level of detail that allowed students that have tr typically have trouble with math to just have a better chance of understanding it. Fast forward a couple years and in 2013 over a Christmas break I decided that I was going to take my methods that had been working in the classroom and self-published them into a book series, which I then published the first book, Algebra and Words, on Amazon in 2014. Since then, I wrote four books on the subject. Algebra and Words, the first one, Algebra and Words 2, Algebra and Words 3, for more advanced topics, and Word Problems Decoded. The Algebra and Words series just take all of my methods and techniques the step-by-step -step instructions, and they're in written form, so students that need to see detailed step-by-step -step procedures to walk them through problems, or to explain topics, or to explain how certain topics connect, they can use that. They can even use it with the book open and use it as a guide to do homework problems and to study for tests. Word Problems Decoded uses those same algebra and words techniques but is more focused on almost every type of algebra word problem. Uh, there's about 50 problems in the book, and again, it shows you how to build each type of problem. It shows you templates. It shows you how to identify each type of word problem, and then it also walks you through the math of the problem as well. But anyway, um, so fast forward to now, and I decided it was time to take it to the next level. Use the technology and use my methods to put into video form so that it'd be available to people, whoever have access to YouTube around the world. Um, my Algebra and Words book series have already reached thousands of people worldwide, so I thought that having a video series would not only benefit them, but would benefit anybody that could use these instructions for completely free. So, that's that. And a little bit about the channel is very easy. I'm going to be posting content on YouTube. YouTube is going to be the main hub. That's the YouTube Algebra and Words channel. But then I'll also be posting related material in Facebook, on Instagram, and the videos will all be related. But I'll, be try, to, I'll try to be posting different videos on each platform. That way, depending upon different people on different platforms, everybody can have some access to the type of Algebra and Words materials and examples that I go over. But also, I make it very easy for you to follow along because if you, if you try to follow a channel on YouTube, it can get a little chaotic because you don't know exactly which episode comes first and next. Yes, I know there are playlists and I do have an Algebra and Words playlist so that you could follow it that way. But I also have something good as well. I have all of my videos written in a Google Doc and they're all numbered chronologically from beginning to end so that you can go to that, the link to the Word doc, it's a spreadsheet document, 
is in every description box below. So you can click that. You can scan through either chronologically or to find the topic that you need. And you can instantly click the hyperlink to take you to that video, even just no matter which platform it's on. I'll have the links to the YouTube, the Facebook, and the Instagram links to those pages on every one. Also in the description box, I have a few other things. I have the link to all four of my books, which you can find on Amazon, which I'll explain in a second. And I even have a link to my RateMyProfessor.com page if you want to read some of the reviews uh, from students that I've actually taught myself. Now, in terms of the books, uh, do you need the books? Well, if you're using this series, I would say you probably don't need the books. However, I found that some people do like to have the books so that they can have it in written form. I've noticed that some people, everybody learns a different way, like to have it in written form so they can read it at their own pace, um, follow the step-by-step -step instructions to walk through a problem. They can put it in their backpack, they can bring it to class or to the library. And so there's the paperback version, but there's also the Kindle version. And the Kindle version, I think, has some extra benefits. First, the Kindle versions are significantly cheaper. They're a few dollars. Secondly, with the Kindle version, you can read it on basically any smart device or a computer. All you need is the free Kindle app. But in addition to that, you can use the hyperlinks that are in each ebook. And I think that's an added benefit because it can bring you to different connected topics that are related. And it can even take you right to the definition of a word if you need, if you run into it and you need to know what it is instantly. Of course, if you have the paperback, you could page through it. But if you have the ebook, you can just click the link and it takes you right to it instantly. Now, um, so what can you expect from this video series? Well, my intention is to put an entire, the, to teach algebra from beginning to end in its entirety. So if a person is either taking a class like at a high school or a college, or even if they want to learn it completely on their own, they should be able to do that from beginning to end. And as I've said, all of my episodes are very easily chronologically numbered so that you can easily follow along from beginning to end, or if you need to search by a specific topic, you can just search by the topic, or you can even search by the keyword. So again, uh, my intention for this video is to bring my algebra and words methods to anyone that has YouTube, so that they can learn all of algebra completely free, so that everyone has a chance to learn algebra, but also to pass and not be intimidated by algebra, which no one should be. So that's my series, and that's what I intend to do. Uh, what you can do is, is you can subscribe to my YouTube page, and if you found this video helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share the page with your friends. You can also leave a comment, and also if you leave a comment or contact me in some way on one of the other platforms, you could even take a picture of a problem, and I'll try to go over any problem that people send me. Uh, please also check out my Facebook page and follow me on there. Any videos you find helpful, please give a like and a share. And as well as on Instagram, I'm still learning Instagram a little bit. But again, you can follow me on that. That's at Algebra and Words. And on my Facebook page is also Algebra and Words. And on that note, I'm going to end the video. If you want to start the algebra lessons, in the next video, I start from the basics with order of operations. So thanks, and I hope to see you next time.